basically there are these areas of New York where people feel like the streets have just been surrendered. The list goes on from Green Goblins to someone who was attacked at the Howard Beach subway station. She's battling for her vision. The person who attacked her uh, just violated parole. He was released for once murdering his own grandparent. We're not recapping what happened in the last year or two. We're talking about what's happened over the course of the last couple of weeks. So that was Lee Zeldin earlier tonight. Obviously, he's running for governor of New York, and he was talking about that shooting that happened right outside his home. And he's absolutely right. It's just everywhere, this crime wave that's hitting um, cities across the country, not just New York State, all across the country, particularly those places run by Democrats, including California. So the other week, I went down to Venice Beach in Los Angeles as part of a special show we're doing on homelessness and crime for my podcast, The Daily California. But guess where I found myself at one point? So you know that question everyone was asking for so long, where's Hunter? Well, if you'd have come here a bit of a while ago, the answer to where's Hunter would have been there. There is the Hunter Biden mansion in Venice. Look at this, beautiful on the canal, lovely place, Hunter Biden. That's where he resided. What was it, 25,000 a month? Beautiful house. I think they've painted it now. It used to be white and it attracted a lot of attention. And you just look over there, see all the, uh, the homeless tents that are there. They've been moved. Those tents used to be, or something. they've been moved from the beach where a lot of media attention. They cleaned it all up. When Hunter lived here, there were no homeless there. There was secret service on that side of the street. So. That's how it goes if you are Hunter Biden. And it looks like Hunter Biden got out just in time because a few days ago, a house right there on the canal where we were was burnt down by homeless people, which it turns out is now just a normal part of life. As the LA Times recently reported that over half, 54% of all fires that the Los Angeles Fire Department responds to are related to homelessness. Let's be clear, the chaos and filth and crime now being inflicted on people who live in our great cities like LA and New York and Seattle and San Francisco, the chaos and the filth and the squalor and the crime are the direct result of the policies pushed by the far left Democrat ideologues who run them. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.